Last time, we determined that we need to set the current stability factor, S, so that it is always less than or equal to 1 in order to maintain stability. We also figured out that we need to set the grid resolution, dx, so that we have at least 10 cells, grid cells, per wavelength in order to obtain sufficient accuracy. Right now, in your model, s should be set to 0 0.99, so that you're running your code in the stable regime with as high of an s as possible for efficiency. So now, let's turn our attention to what we want to set dx equal to. We want to model a pulse propagating towards the region of the avalanche to search for victims. So first let's figure out a frequency range for our detection system. Then we can determine a suitable source time waveform that has spectra in this range. And then we can calculate what dx needs to be. Ground penetrating radar usually operates between 10 megahertz and 3 gigahertz. So let's start with this range. And specifically, let's consider one of the bands allocated by the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, for industrial scientific and medical devices, ISM. There's a band that goes from 902 to 928 megahertz. So this is an ISM band of frequencies. What we could do is use a pulse that is limited to this frequency range. If we limit the spectrum of our source to be from 902 to 928 megahertz, what do you think we should set dx equal to in our model?